Uh, we're, we're outside a Trump rally now. Trump is just selling Bibles for 60 bucks. I'm proud to be partnering with my very good friend, Lee Greenwood. Who doesn't love his song, God Bless the USA, in connection with promoting the God Bless the USA Bible? Uh, so we created our own Bible, the Trump Bible. Get your Bibles, get your Trump Bibles here. The good book is now a great book. It's like the Bible, but better. The Bible's out of date. This is making the good book great again. Would you guys like to get grifted? I'm selling Bibles. They're cautionary parables. There's so much to be learned from Donald Trump's life. This is a passage from the Trump Bible. One day, a great plague swept across the land, spreading fear and devastation in, the, in its wake. As the death toll mounted and communities cried out for help, Donald Trump found himself faced with a grave test of leadership. Donald Trump said unto the people, I see the disinfectant that knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that by injection inside or almost a cleaning? I see the disinfectant that knocks it out in a minute, one minute. Is there any way we could do something like that? Injection or something, almost like cleaning? Donald Trump said unto his servants, I shall change the path of the hurricane with thy Sharpie. Among the listeners was a humble tradesman named Billy Bush, who listened in shock and dismay as Donald Trump boasted about his ability to take whatever he desired, regardless of consent or consequence. And Donald Trump said unto Billy Bush, when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Grab them by the pussy. You can do anything. This is the Obama passage. Fueled by his bigotry and ambition, Donald Trump spared no effort in spreading his malicious lie far and wide, hoping to sow doubt and division among the people and seize power for himself. Trump said unto the people, check his birth certificate. This is from election 2020. As the ballots were counted and as the results announced, it became clear that Donald Trump had not secured enough votes to win the election and remain in power. However, Instead of accepting the outcome with grace and dignity, Donald Trump refused to concede defeat. Donald Trump proclaimed the election to be fraudulent and rigged. As chaos unfolded, a voice echoed from the heavens calling out to Donald Trump and urging him to heed the principles of justice and democracy. Respect the will of the people, the voice implored, and accept the outcome of the election. For the strength of our nation lies in its ad adherence to the rule of law and the peaceful transfer of power. But Donald Trump, blinded by his pride and ambition, turned a deaf ear. Trump Bible, cautionary parables, all the stuff not to do really. A great storm was coming across a great land. And Donald Trump said unto his servants, I shall change the path of the hurricane with this Sharpie. How did that make you feel, that Bible story? That's not a Bible story. No, it's, it is a Bible story. It is, it's in the Trump Bible, see? Trump Bible, and it's a story in it, so it's a Bible story. We must protect content that is pro-God. There is only one King Bible. James. No, no, the old Bible is a little out of date, no, right? I don't think so. No. Yeah, this, no, making the good book God. great. It's not out of date, the world Trump is out of Trump is not God, God picked Trump. Tr <laughs> this is a new book of the Bible. I'm going to where? Going to hell? I'm going to hell because I need the Trump Bible? Let's, let's, let's see your book. What's that? What is it? So it's a Trump Bible. It's brand new, brand new Bible stories based on the life of Donald Trump. It's not a mockery. No, no, it's a better, it's a better version. It's a better. What? Stop trying to exploit people. No, that's blasphemy to sell Bibles, isn't it? Oh, it's blasphemy to sell yeah. Bibles. Yeah, isn't it? it? I guess so. But Donald Trump selling sixty dollar Bibles right now. I know. Now. I can't believe it. We love God. Listen, the Bible says no scriptures of any private interpretation. So it's not given by man, it's given by God. But so what did you think about Donald Trump selling it for 60 bucks? Well, I'm not going to buy one, that's for sure. No, I don't think so. Don't Donald Trump so. has been selling the Bible. I think he does. He, yeah, he does sell yeah. it. With Lee Greenwood. Lee, with Lee Greenwood. I'm proud to partner with Lee in this offering. He's a very special man. But is selling Bibles to supporters a grift? And we have to protect anything that is pro-God. But as his presidency came to the end, Donald Trump's thirst for wealth and power knew no bounds. Blinded by greed and ambition, he concocted a deceitful scheme to exploit the trust and devotion of his followers.
Turning to the sacred scriptures for inspiration, Donald Trump saw an opportunity to profit from the faith of his loyal followers. He commissioned the printing of countless Bibles. I think you all should get a copy of God Bless the USA Bible now and help spread our Christian values with others. Don't, don't listen to the words of, of grifters, okay? Be wary of grifters. Like people trying to sell you $60 Bibles. It's a grift, right? Oh yeah, I wanna buy anything from you. No way, man. You said you would. No, I wouldn't. You just said, hey, I want to buy anything from you. You said you'd I buy, anything, I from wouldn't buy anything from me. I didn't hear the wooden part. Maybe I misheard you. The Ten Commandments. Thou shalt commit adultery. Thou shalt put no other person above Trump. Thou shalt steal. Thou shalt commit false witness against thy neighbor. It means you can lie. Why is it just the opposite of the actual Oh, this it's the Trump. It's the Trump version of it. I don't so, think Trump would believe in that. You don't think Trump has cheated on his wife? He probably did. Yeah. You don't think he he said on tape that he wanted to have sex with a married woman? Yeah, he did. Yeah, and uh, you, you don't think he's he's lied? Of course. Of course okay. He's lied. We you don't you lied. don't think he's he's stolen before? I don't know if he's stolen. No. What did he steal? He tried to steal the election. Well, this is different. This is the this is the Trump Bible, but he's selling his. We're we're trying to grip people on our own. Yeah. Hey, would you like a Trump Bible? Oh, how much are they? Only ten dollars. Oh, 10 bucks? Yeah. Yeah, we'll each take one, but I think like, it's like $10. Can I, can I read you the, the Trump commandments? Uh, well, follow us. Sure. Oh, we don't want to keep the thing here. Thou shalt yeah, put no is. person above Trump. Yeah. Thou shalt commit what? adultery. Oh, Thou shalt God. kill. Here, sweetie. Thou here's, shalt here's cover, 10, covet here's thy neighbor's dollars. wife. We just sold a, a Trump Bible here. There you go. Here's yeah. another 10. Ooh. So many things to learn in there. A lot of stuff is about what not to do. The good, the good book is now a great book. book. We sold uh, three Bibles today. Uh, four, actually. One return. One return, unfortunately. <laughs> but I, I think all in all, we realize it's it's kind of easy to to, uh, to grift people here at the Trump rally. There you have it. Let's make America pray again. God bless you, and God bless the USA.